Welcome to another Great Car Basic uh, demonstration. Today we're going to look at how we get um, an UNO installed and working. So what we're going to do today is uh, install the software and then we're going to use an existing demonstration to flash an LED. It should take about five minutes if, we, if we're very fast. So what do we need to do? We've got a five step process from installing the software, edit the source file, connect the audio, the UNO, sorry, select the communications port to, to uh, select the correct UNO and then we're going to program it. So what we need to do is download the software from uh, this URL, sourceforge.net project GC basic. Install the software to the default directory, accepting any warnings you'll get from the operating system. So I'm going to select that link and it will take me into this browser here. Let me just show you my desktop. Select the green button to download the software. Now this morning I have been having problems, so I'm just going to select the London... Oh, it's already doing it for me. There we go. Look. So it's downloading it. Then I'm going to select open. So that will, the moment that comes through, it will install it for us. Now, meanwhile, we'll look at the um, what I've got installed over here. I've got... A In my desktop, I've ended up with this screen here, which means that um, welcome to the Great Car Basic installation wizard. I will accept the agreement, reading it carefully, um, read the uh, who brought you this software, and I'm just going to take all the defaults and just run it through, in, you know, by just very quickly accepting everything. And I'm installing all the software in one go. Now, whilst it's doing that, um, as I said before, I've just in, I've just brought up the um, in, in, installed the uh, hardware by connecting up the USB cable to the Uno. Now what it will do now it will open it up into the IDE automatically once it's completed the installation. Select next, and it will bring us up to the IDE. And here it is. It's a simple IDE. So let's just zoom in on that to carry out the next step. Meanwhile, let's look at the next step. So we've installed it, step one. We're going to edit the source file. So in the source file, we're going to select the correct chip. Now, currently that's set up for a, uh, a pick. So I'm just going to comment that out by putting a, a little um, single quote here and uncheck, uncheck in the one beneath it, which is a mega lot, which is a mega is an UNO, okay? A mega 328P is an UNO. The rest of this code I am not going to touch. All I've done is commented out a pick and uncommented out this mega 328. I have edited the source file. Step three. I am going to select uh, my little PowerPoint here. It's slightly out of position, so I'll just correct that for us, okay? In my... Just, you go. I just need to select my UNO in my edit. I just need to set up the um, connect the UNO to enable programming. And I need to do that by selecting the correct communications port. So back in the IDE, I'm going to I'm going to look at the IDE here and bring it up. There we go. I'm going to select this icon here where it says GC basic. Click. Enter edit program preferences. And look down this list, and it's the second one on the list, Arduino Uno. And that means that I have a program built in. So if I select Edit, and you can't quite see that on the screen. There we go, look, Edit. I just need to change one thing, and it's this item here, the communications port. This will be different from, your, from every computer. It could be different. Mine is COM9. 
Now, COM1 is typically installed on your computer, so it's probably the other one. Okay, but you're going to have to figure this bit out. COM9, press OK, press OK. We've, we've now selected the UNO as the programmer. Let's back to PowerPoint. We're going to program it at step five by pressing hex or flash or pushing function key F5. So let's have a look. What I'm going to try and do here is bring up the camera and you can see the LED is not flashing at the moment. If I press this green button in uh, where it's, let me just bring that up for us. If I select the green button here or I press function key F5, another way is IDE tools, GCB tools, make hex and flash or press function key F5. I am going to press function key F5. No, I'm not. I'm going to push this little icon here look, and it will flash up this dialog box and it will program it. We now have an LED that's flashing. Let's look at that very closely. One last, we're going to make a little change. We're going to change this source program to make it flash at a different time. So in here it says, turn the LED on, pulse out on the LED port and wait for 100 milliseconds and then wait for 900 milliseconds. I'm just going to change that to 100 milliseconds and press F5 to program it. And you will see that LED pulse rate change is now flashing every 100 milliseconds. Back to PowerPoint. Step six, see the LED flash. That took seven minutes. I think you could do it faster. Install and get that UNO working. We'll call that a wrap.